Yo, what is up Comfy Gang? It's your boy Comfy Neat and welcome to my Christmas special. <laughs> um, so anyways, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this flannel shirt indoors, um, it's not really because it's cold or anything, but it's because it's the only red Christmassy thing that I can find in my wardrobe. Ideally, I'd be wearing one of those, um, you know, fake Santa suits, but I didn't really think of buying one because it's sort of an impromptu video or a Santa hat and a fake beard. But anyways, right now, I guess I'm just gonna talk about what I want for Christmas and I guess what a neat would want for Christmas. That's probably what I would call this video. But um, anyways, what I want for Christmas would probably have to be money. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a pretty no-brainer answer because with money you can pretty much buy most things in life you know how they say money can't buy everything well that's kind of true to an extent but it's also kind of untrue because you can pretty much buy like 99% of what you would want out of life um, what are the things I would buy with this money? Um, well, I would, I would probably buy a, I'll probably buy some like gear for my music production. Um, a lot of that stuff, if you don't already know, is prohibitively expensive. Cost anywhere from, you know, at the very least, one, at the very least, a few hundred dollars, all the way to maybe like. 10 grand for a single piece of gear and um, I feel like that's something that I would like uh, because I really do care about my music and I feel that's probably what um, would take my stuff to the next level. Um, I'd also want, um, you know, just a bunch of instruments. I'd want nicer clothes. I'd want so many things. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd love to have a new 4K TV. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, a nice, you know, PS5 or Xbox, uh, Series X, uh, sitting, you know, right beside it, you know, have a nice a console gaming setup. And I would like to have, a, <laughs> um, a gaming PC and, uh, you know, maybe something, you know, with the greatest CPU possible and, you know, um, the, the biggest GPU available in the market. Uh, what is it? The, the GTX 3060, whatever it's called. Uh, I like that because I've always wanted to be a PC gamer, but I've just never um, had the money and I kind of spent, I kind of asked for a, um, a Mac when my parents gave me the option for a computer, which I kind of regret a lot currently because, you know, there's really not much you can do with that type of computer at that price point. You could probably just get a PC that could do so much more stuff. Um, I'd also want to buy myself uh, a new chin because, let's face it, my chin is pretty much non-existent and I feel like, you know, that's one of my complexes and, you know, I might be completely wrong about that, but uh, I guess the only way for me to really find out is by, you know, quite possibly wasting all that money. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I'd also want, oh yeah, you know, a girlfriend would be nice. Uh, you know, preferably I'd want to have her, you know, shipped in uh, a crate, like one of those mail order brides. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'd like her to be, you know, Preferably my age or, you know, uh, slightly younger uh, and, you know, obviously I want her with all, you know, the bells and whistles, <laughs> physically speaking. Um, I want her to also listen to all my commands at will uh, and, you know, basically be uh, okay with being shackled to the kitchen so she can make me a sandwich on demand. Honestly, I'm just fucking joking. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, a girlfriend would be nice. Uh, either that or just become 
Chad, some way for me to become Chad, uh, you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of uh, aesthetic surgery would be pretty nice. And also just um, gear for my fitness, for boxing. Um, uh, and, you know, there's so many things that, um, I guess, that money could buy me that I feel would make me happy. But at the end of the day, I also do sort of realize at the back of my mind that I feel like once I obtain all these things, I probably still won't feel happy because there are certain things that I've wanted all my life that I have ended up getting. And they kind of gave me a brief, you know, transient moment of happiness, maybe for like a day or two at most. And after that, that just became my new normal. And um, while well, I was just back to my same old self. So obviously um, I was kind of shit posting when I mentioned all this materialistic stuff because I do realize that the happiness or the contentment that that sort of stuff would give me would be temporary at best. Even things like having a girlfriend, you know, um, a lot of people in my position uh, say that you know, they would kill to have a girlfriend. Um, I feel that way sometimes, but at the end of the day, I, you know, a lot of people who do end up getting one uh, end up just, you know, it kind of comes normal for them. It just becomes everyday life, you know. Obviously, a lot of times there's going to be problems in relationships and stuff like that to deal with. So, you know, and in some cases it could turn out really, really bad for either party or for both at the same time. So, you know, obviously even I don't realize that that's, even I realize that that's not the answer to everything, but obviously again, um, that's, I guess, a lesson for the people who want one to find out. So now back to the topic of what I really want for Christmas. Um, I guess I just want to be happy. I just want contentment. Um, I just want, you know, to be okay with how things are, to be okay um, with myself as a person, to stop needlessly comparing myself to other people, uh, to stop arbitrarily uh, judging myself uh, based on, you know, all of these expectations that society have put on us um, almost on a whim. Obviously, I do realize that some of these expectations are grounded in reality, but at the same time, um, I feel like I and a lot of people in my position, uh, and just pretty much most people in general, tend to beat themselves up um, way too hard and almost bully themselves in a way. And I feel like, although in a lot of ways, many people have things that they can improve on in life, I feel like that is, um, I feel like beating yourself up over it um, doesn't um, doesn't really help things unless you're beating your meat. <laughs> okay, I'm, just, okay. I'm, a, I'm pretty juvenile if you can't tell already, but I've pretty much said this a million times. Uh, but yeah, I just want some general sense of contentment um, and I feel like I probably am taking a lot of things for granted that I currently have. The fact that I still um, get to stay as a neat at my age, um, that I haven't been kicked out of the home, and that at least for now, I'm not, I don't have too much pressure to move out and too much pressure to uh, work a dead end job. Um, I guess, so I guess I'm gonna be talking about the things I'm grateful for as well. Um, I'm pretty grateful for the fact that, you know, my parents, all things considered, are pretty understanding and pretty supportive of me. They, obviously they made a lot of mistakes when I was growing up. And, um, but then again, they definitely had way worse childhoods than me. Um, so I am lucky in that regard. Um, they were just doing their best. There really isn't any 
instruction manual on how to be a parent. Well, I guess there is now, now that there's so much research about parenting that has come up in psychology and um, things like all the resources available on the internet, YouTube videos, vlogs, so you can watch other parents um, raise their kid and maybe learn from their mistakes or get better ideas on how to be a good parent. And there's just so much more awareness now of how bad parenting uh, can lead to mental illness. I, I feel like things like domestic abuse and violence against kids, spanking, is more frowned upon in modern society. Not that I went through any of that, but I'm just speaking in a general sense. And things of that nature are far more taboo now. So obviously, I feel like the world is hopefully moving in a better direction. Um, and as much as the internet is a curse, I am thankful in a way that it still exists because, you know, it still is a good cope. I'm sure there are needs out there that don't have good internet access, and I'm sure that must be hellish, or maybe they're just forced out of need them, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on whether they end up dead at, in dead end, dead end uh, wage slavery positions, uh, or just in bad economic conditions in general. I'm pretty thankful to live in a first world country. Um, I'm thankful that, you know, I do have people that, that uh, you know, at least support me or um, care for me. And I do, I am thankful for all the people that I've met on the internet. Um, I know that uh, I'm, I'm probably not what you would call a good friend or, um, Yeah, I'm not really a good friend and I'm just, you know, arguably have trouble, you know, interacting with people properly and um, all that stuff. I do have my issues for sure, but I'm thankful for, I guess, all the people who are willing to stick up for me and, um, I guess, stay by me. All my flaws considered, or at least support me and, you know, I'm thankful to to all the subscribers that have, you know, said all the nice things on my comment section. Um, obviously, I do realize that I, I am kind of a lol cow and I don't really stick to a lot of my promises. And despite this, um, you know, I feel like I am, I am being given a way easier time than I should be. So I am pretty appreciative of that. Who knows how things will change in the future, but at least at this moment in time, um, I'm thankful for that. I'm also thankful for, you know, all the people who have tried to, uh, you know, give me advice, um, you know, well-intentioned or not. Um, I think, you know, I have learned a lot talking to people on the internet and just, you know, being a part of YouTube and I'm just thankful for the fact that I have I get to own this channel because um, I feel like I was in a pretty bad place now that I look back on it um, being isolated basically being a a hickey in the truest sense of the word um, and just not having ex any exposure to the outside world but just the fact that I'm I'm thankful that, well, I'm thankful that I took this leap forward and, you know, took uh, took this risk to put myself out there because I feel like, I think more than anything, uh, all things considered, I mean, it has, you know, uh, paid off in a way. Um, I feel like I have benefited, benefited from it in numerous ways and probably more ways than I can imagine. And the hope is that I can continue to stick with it and not let myself, um, you know, eventually quit or give up on it. Um, despite all the trials and tribulations and struggles and difficulties that I'm, that I'm sure are to come with owning a YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for all the support. I'm thankful for all the subscribers, for all the nice comments and everything. Um, 
And uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys have a a wonderful Christmas. And um, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people watching this, I think a good portion of them are needs or just wages in a bad place maybe. Um, I hope that you at least, you know, get some time to, uh, um, you know, spend with family or, you know, at least, you know, just treat yourself nicely, you know, treat yourself, uh, that, that, damn, that was cringe, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, just treat yourself and, you know, be kind to yourself at least for today and maybe New Year's, you know, just, uh, I don't know, maybe buy some food, uh, get some takeout if you can afford it, um, you know, maybe buy yourself a game or something if you have the money or just, you know, uh, do something that you find comfy like binge watch anime or your favorite TV series, play a video game that you really enjoy uh, and just, um, you know, be kind for yourself just for today. I think that's my hope for everybody and that's I think what I'm trying to do for myself, just forget about all the judgment and all the self-hate for a moment. If you are going through that, obviously. And also, um, yeah, I really don't know what, what else to say. Um, this is kind of my attempt at a wholesome Christmas message, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, this is Company wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and signing out.